Okay, here's the state of things as we are heading into the 2023 offseason. Since the departure of Byron Leftwich, the Buccaneers have been long and hard searching for a new offensive coordinator, and we ended up with David Canales at the end. Now, Canales has an interesting history coming off of 12, 13 years as an assistant coach in Seattle. He's partly responsible for creating the Legion of Boom in Seattle, for developing Russell Wilson, for getting his chemistry with DK Metcalf, Basically, a whole bunch of offensive production over the last 12 to 13 years, including their Super Bowl win. So, it'll be interesting to see what he does when he comes here as an offensive coordinator, because we did sign him to an offensive coordinator's stats. With his game plan, as he quotes it, being simple in concept and... <laughs> Fuck, it was uh, simple in concept and uh, complex in delivery. So it'll be interesting to see what comes as a result of that come next season. Now, that being said, our key departures. First of all, Leonard Fournette. Some people may have already seen this coming, seeing as how he was in a limited role this last year, with Prashard White coming in and impressing everybody in this rookie year. But what some fans may not expect is it was his decision to have the Buccaneers release him according to reports so kind of shocking to see that he wanted to be out from the team but at the same time you can understand why he wanted out in the first place and thankfully we have running back depth in Keyshawn Vaughn if Rashad White ever needs a bit of rest so there's no reason to worry about that as well as our offensive wide receivers go, none of them are really expected to leave, except maybe Russell Gage. But if you've seen the amazing catch he's made in the last week of the season against the Atlanta Falcons and how he got a touchdown, even while taking an injury, you can tell this man has toughness. So I say we keep Russell Gage on for another year, see what he can do. That being said, we are also expected to release Cameron Braith this coming off season. And I'm thinking, thank Christ, and why not get rid of Kyle Rudolph as well? Because you we have guys like Cade Otten and Ko Kiet, who in their rookie season showed flashes of brilliance. Especially with Cade Otten being the number one tight end in both receptions and receiving yards. In all the categories. So we retain Kate on and Coquette, get rid of Cameron Braid and Kyle Rudolph. They've done absolutely nothing for us last season. Now, there are talks we are releasing Donovan Smith, and thank Christ for that. This guy has been the weakest part of our offensive line for I don't know how many years, eight years now. Now, granted, he'll be a free agent Super Bowl champion, but that don't mean shit when you can't block consistently for your offense. And believe me, if we did retain him, Kyle Trask would have a hell of a time trying to throw when his left side is constantly being pressured because Donovan Smith is just getting... <laughs> it's just getting outdone or he's getting holding penalties cut blocks, it's just illegal blocks in the back. This guy has been the most penalized offensive lineman in a hardcore for the longest time. It's just about time we got rid of him. Now, in regards to our franchise tag, two options on who to use it on. Number one would be Jamel Dean because in the last few years, Jamel Dean has really solidified himself to be one of the best corners of the Buccaneers' defense. Number two, I'd say Lamonte David gets the franchise tag because have you seen how consistent that guy is? He has been anchoring our defense with at least 70 tackles per year. If that's not consistency on the matter of Derek Brooks then I don't know what is. 
and not just tackles too. He's also gotten his share of sacks and his share of interceptions, fumble recoveries as well, and forced fumbles too. So overall, Levante David can play some amazing defense. And getting rid of him would be like getting rid of a part of our defensive identity, our core. Believe me, Levante David deserves to be recognized for who he is, as well as a defensive captain on the team. <laughs> so, yeah, either franchise tag Jamel Dean or Levante David, because as much as Devin White impressed me over the first month for the Buccaneers defense, let's face facts, he's not as consistent as Levante David is. But he has another year to show that he can be a top defensive lineman in the NFL. So let's see how next year goes for Devin White. And if things get worse before they get better, we definitely need to think about getting rid of him as well. So that's the state of free agency right now. And this salary cap situation, it's going to be tough retaining all our guys who are going to be free agents, but hopefully we can figure it out, come back strong for the next season. Definitely waiting to see what Kyle Trask can do next season and who we're going to be drafting in order to build around him. 